Jackson's rowboat. Dr. Zucker, you're not going to let that thing out again, are you? And suddenly, there's... Of course, done it. Might get away like it did last time. I created it. I can control it or destroy it as I can you. You whom I helped escape from prison. I can draw both quickly. Well, see what good it is. The cops will never let anything like that walk down the street. What could the police or anybody do against an army like them? and make me the most powerful man in the world. Hey, watch it! There's a car outside. That will be my wife. She wants to take me away. She's afraid of what I'm doing here, yet she knows only a small part of it. Let me go in and talk to him alone, Dr. Mallory. He's been angry with you ever since you refused to continue to work with him. Well, I did so only because he was working along lines contrary to the good of mankind. I know. He still is. I hope I can stop him before it's too late. I hate to have you face him alone. Oh, I don't fear him. I think he really cares for me. As much as he can care for anyone. Except himself. You're not going to tell her about the new element you discovered, are you? Only enough to prove that I have accomplished what they told me was impossible. Get me one of the magnetized discs. But if you're determined to face him alone, I'll wait in there. But won't your wife think that... Silence! my dear. You, you're glad to see me. Very. I've been wanting a witness to my great crime. Oh. Yes. I told Mallory and the others there was a way to induce a state of suspended animation that couldn't be told from death and that I could find it. They called me a dreamer, a fool, but now I have it. And you shall see and tell them. Come. See this disc? Watch. It will not come to you. It will go only to that disc which I have put there by the plan. That disc there is magnetized by a positive ray with my new element which is unknown to science. And this little spider carries the negative. When the two meet, you shall see. would a person be under the same circumstances. It's too bad that Mallory is not here to see my trial. I have seen it. You! You were spying! Call it that if you wish, Alex. But you made no secret of it. Now my fear is, what are you going to do with it? I shall do with it as I wish. Not hand it over to the government, as you would have me. I still think that would be best. 
It should be under control for the good of mankind. You would still receive credit for its discovery. They would destroy it if they could. But possibly... Never will I let it go. Already a foreign government had offered me millions. Perhaps I shall sell to them. Don't you realize what a terrific weapon it would be in the hands of unscrupulous people? Of course. That is why they shall pay me dearly for it. Alex, you must not. Then it is my duty to inform the government at once. Alex, please! All right. If it is your duty, do so by all means. But you will find it a great mistake. What do you mean? <laughs> you shall soon learn. All of you. Anne. Monk. Monk. Get the division ladder. Did you carry out my instructions regarding the work to be done on this? Yes, sir. I strengthened the ionizer, but I was afraid to use it. I'm not afraid. <laughs> they think they know everything that I have. But they know nothing of this divisualizer that will conceal me from my enemies. I'll stay here tonight. Perhaps I can see him again. And persuade him from his mad course. And I'll get in touch with the government. I've already talked with Captain West of the War Department about Alex. They won't punish him, will they? No, Anne. They'll just keep him and what he has found under control so that he can't misuse it or dispose of it to a country that would. Can you come back? Surely. I must come back. And now, as the Phantom, there is nothing that I cannot do. Workshop without the Iron Man helping. And unless they find the secret entrance to the cave, oh, it is concealed so cleverly, nobody will ever find it. Must be entirely moved by morning. Pack what we need. Yes.
They must never know about you. The source of all my power. I'll come right out there as soon as I get a call I'm waiting for. Yes, Captain West of the Army Intelligence. I'll start as soon as he phones me. All right. Don't worry. Much depends on what happens in this house today. I'm going to wait and listen to this. Probably Mallory. Morning, Anne. I'm so glad you got here. Captain West arrived yet? No, how could he? He's flying down, so I was surprised to find him here. That must be Bob West. It's a government plane. They are closing in. And they will find nothing. I have to change my appearance. Maybe you'd better stay here and keep an eye on the plane, Jim. Okay. Captain West, is it true that Dr. Zorka has disappeared? Well, do you think it's fair for you to know my name and I don't know yours? Oh, I'm Jean Drew. Well, what are you doing here? The time sent me. Too low, we can listen and ask questions. Sorry, but I'm not allowed to answer any questions. Do you mind if I go to the house with you? Yes, I'd mind very much. You and I'd better take a little walk, sister. I don't believe I've met you. Miss Drew, allow me to present Mr. Jim Daly. You'll find him very good company. Uh. From what you say, Dr. Zucker has discovered something very important. I'm sure he has. Highly dangerous, too. Think what a hostile power could do with it. Have you uh, made any search for it? No, we thought we'd better wait till you got here. Well, let's look in his laboratory. Aren't you going to take that disc? I'll, uh, I'll get it later. I'd hate to have one of those spiders find it in my pocket. Fools! Fools! Let them search. They will find nothing. seems to have been moved. You can talk to Rankin of aspiring. I will be with you. But unseen. Husband smokes a popular brand. But he doesn't. He can't stand tobacco. Well, how about his assistant? He had no. She's right. So far as we know, Zorka worked alone. The revisualizer. Then we will go. We must be more careful than ever that no one discovers the entrance of our secret garage. Let's go. Well, I'll phone headquarters and have his description broadcast. He'll be picked up somewhere, that is, if he still answers his own description. All clear? Yes, sir. Then we will go to meet the agent of aspiring. When last seen, he wore striped trousers, dark foreign hand tie, and cutaway coat. No car that we know of, but it would take one to carry the things that are missing from this laboratory. Yes, that's right. Put this on the cell site right away, will you? Pick up that man. What do you mean? Give him a ride? Yes. He looks as I used to. He might be useful to me. Get in. 
man is dead. How fortunate. That simplifies everything. We will make it seem that it is the famous Dr. Zorko who has been killed. Then we will get another car, go home, and see what they are doing there. West speaking. Right, I've got it. We'll fly right down there. Been a car found, wrecked and burned on Highway 10, 50 miles north of here. There's a body in it. Contents of the pockets indicated to Dr. Zorka. Identification is important. You go with it? You're asking too much, Captain West, after such a shock. I'll go. I must know. It was Alex. Warm up the plane with you, Jim. Whenever you're ready, Mrs. Zorka. wife to identify the body we left at the car. She will know it is not mine. Can't you stop them by? She has one of my discs and she does not know it. I have just time enough to put that spider into her place. She will go into suspended animation so that she cannot identify the dead man. Then I will take her from them and revive her. Now get the car ready. Quick. We have to be there as soon as the plane arrives. Shouldn't take long. I'll check the lab equipment and try to figure out just what's missing. Bye. Goodbye. Hey, is there something the matter with that door? I'm sure I shut it. Doesn't look to me as if you're dead. in my bag when I left the house. That's the same kind of disc that was found under the plant. The one the spider went to. Are you certain it wasn't in your bag before? Positive. Now, let me see it, Woody. I haven't seen one of those things yet. Hold on, will you, Jim? I want to send it back to the department. Are you sure you didn't find it and take it as part of a keepsake? Why, of course I didn't. Tell me. From where the car was found, have you any idea where Dr. Zorka was going? None whatever.
wasn't in my bag when I left the house. That's the same kind of disc that was found under the plant. The one that Fido went to. Oh, let me see it, will you? I haven't seen one of those things yet. Hold on, will you, Jim? I want to send it back to the department. Are you sure you didn't find it and take it as sort of a keepsake? Why, of course I didn't. From where the car was found, have you any idea where Dr. Zerka was going? None whatever. <laughs> Jim, what's happened? would like an official statement from you. What were you doing in that plane? Following you to get a story. What do you make of him, Doctor? I find no bodily injuries. The man seemed to be in a coma. That's right. He collapsed suddenly at the controls. The ambulance is coming. Take this girl away. Come on, lady. Captain West, I want to know the connection between this plane crash and Dr. Zorka's death. And unless you tell All me... All right, I'm... arrest her. Call of me. You can't arrest me without a charge. The charge was throwing away in a government plane. Come on. You can't do this to me. No, I can't, but he can. A thorough examination of your pilot, Bailey, convinces me that he's in a state of suspended animation. However, I've made arrangements to have him brought here for further observation. I've been wondering, Doctor, if one of Zorka's discs could have had something to do with it. I handed Daly one of them on the plane has disappeared. But you saw no spiders and Dr. Zorka is dead. Yes, but his secrets aren't dead. He might have sold his formula to those foreign agents who were after it. That still wouldn't explain the presence of the element on the plane. 
There's only Daly and Mrs. Zorka and yourself aboard. As it happens, there was someone else aboard. Come in, Mr. Drew. Dr. Mallory. How do you do, Miss Drew? The doctor and I are old friends. Did you check my credentials? Yes. Satisfied? No. We have reason to believe that something was smuggled aboard that plane. Can I print that? No, you can't print anything except what I tell you. Is that clear? You win. Shoot. The airplane crash was a sequel to the violent death of Dr. Zorka. Send this message in code to all our allied foreign operators. As a disguise for our spying operations, all code messages henceforth will be sent from our International School of Languages. Children must always say please. I will send you a letter. Follow our instructions carefully. Have a recording made of that and put it on the air at once. Yes, sir. Well, did you get Zorka's formula? G-Man placed a guard around Zorka's house. We haven't been able to enter it. You've got to get in. Or find Zorka's assistant monk. I'm about to broadcast a recording to our friends in Europe informing them of Zorka's death. All right, I'll go myself with some of the men tonight. We may be able to slip past the guards. Well, see that there are no blunders. All ready. I'm about to broadcast exercise 47 with code interruptions. All right, begin. Dr. Zorka is dead. Inform his majesty at once. That Jim? No, but it may not revive him. This is an antidote that I prepared in anticipation of such an event as this. This is the first opportunity I've had to test the antidote. No reaction, sir? No, something is missing. Some essential ingredient that I failed to hit upon. Well, how do you propose to find it? Make another search of Zorka's laboratory. Well, come on, before someone else beats us to it. Seen anything yet, Mac? Nah. Ain't nobody gonna hang around a spooky old dump like this. The place is guarded. I can't reach the secret entrance. What's that? Wind, I guess. Never mind the guards. If they stop you, I will be there to help. Come on. 
to the house. Inside. The guy that was prowling around here, and the southern hit him from behind, and he got away. Oh, something hit you from behind, huh? Better not tell Captain West that kind of a yarn. I tell you, there's something queer about this uh, place. Uh... Draw the curtains. Set the sound detector. Remove all the spiders and discs. Okay. Case Mallory searches this place again. If Mallory came into possession of those discs, we might be able to derive an antidote from it, which would nullify the effect of these spiders. An antidote from this? He must be pretty good. In the scientific world, he's second only to myself. But why not put one of your spiders there? This time has not yet come. First, you must see my triumph after that. Look out, the spider! Put that disc away, you idiot! You want one of my little pets to sting you? Prowler, sir, we drove him off. I must not show my power until I'm ready to strike. Down the light. It's all right, Captain, as long as you didn't get inside. Let's look the place over. Secret entrance. Let's go. Please forget the guard.
Is he dead? No, just stunned. I wanted him alive.
something over in those bushes. Keep down. Must be the driver of that car. I missed him, whoever it is. Let's get to your car. That's Spider. Shoot us. No, it isn't a lie. That's one of Zorka's mechanical devices. But it's poisonous. What are you going to do? Try and catch it and take it to Mallory for analysis. Hey, that isn't like a hard-boiled newspaper girl to faint. I'm not hard-boiled, and I didn't faint. I tripped. Oh. One of those got to Jim Daly. He's still unconscious. It's gone. Where'd it go? I don't know. I wish I knew where it came from. That may be Mallory now. It is Mallory. Two of my men. You all right, Bob? Yeah. Looks like you cracked up. Bailed out just in time. Parker, uh, check that car for ownership. There's enough left of it. Miss Drew would like the dope, too. She'll take you back in her car, won't you? But There's a lot in this case that has to be kept off the record for a while. Like spiders, for instance? Right. Dork has left something behind that's even worse than dynamite. Someone evidently got hold of it. The wrong kind of publicity will hurt it. All right, I'll be careful what I put in the paper. That's swell. I knew it could count on you. Check with me at Mallory's tomorrow. Thanks, I will. What's the matter with your coat? One of Zarka's mechanical spiders disappeared under. I don't dare put it on. Spider, how'd it get out here? I wish you'd tell me. I chased that car from Zarka and the driver got away, but don't ask me how. Shall I look around for him, Captain? No, it's two ladies probably miles away from here by now. Let's get back to Zarka's. There's an extra Mackinac on the car here. It's Monk. This is a break. The chief wants it. Let's see if we can bring him too. Listen, Monk. With Zorka dead, you're in a tough spot. Now, why don't you join up with our crowd and tell us what's become of Zorka's formula? What makes you think I know anything about it? You know plenty. She pays big for that kind of information. What kind of information? Quit stalling. You know what we're talking about. I can't even guess. All right. We'll take him along and work him over. <laughs> Get in the car, quick, that's the army gang. Car pulling out from where I left that fellow handcuffed. Chase him, Captain? Yeah, looks like they're taking our prisoner with them. Who do you suppose they are? I think we're going to find out. Hold him, Mac. Once enough. Now, who are you? What were you doing at Zorka's house? Come on, talk up. Well, I. Shall I go get him? No, it's too late. We got one of them anyway. You mean they did? They fixed this one so he won't talk. Sure is good shooting for this kind of light. 
Are you men all right? Sure thing. Check his prints and measurements, Mac, and check with the FBI. I'll get the equipment out of the car. We've got to find out all about this gang, who they are, and what they're doing in this business. Maybe it's the people Zorka intended selling his formula to. That's what I'm afraid of. going to sell me out to Rankin and Aspiring, were you? No, I swear I wasn't. Oh, I was just stalling for time. Of course. You wouldn't dare to betray me. The police still want you, Mung. They don't want me. They think I'm dead. Now with the government and Aspiring both determined to steal my secret, it is necessary to share a very vital secret and knowledge with you. The hiding place of the source of all my power. The source? Yes. If they close in during my absence, you would be able to remove it to a safer place. And there is power enough to seize or destroy the world. And only I, I know how to release and control it. It must be kept insulated. It would be fatal to open it, unless in the presence of these protective fumes I discovered. Where, where did it come from? It is part of a meteorite that fell in Africa centuries ago. Years of research led me to the belief that some great force akin to radium lay buried there. I organized a secret expedition, attended only by ignorant natives. It took me three years to find the place the meteorite fell. I suffered untold torture before I found a way to insulate myself from the magnetic and chemical activity of the element contained in the meteorite. I risked my health, my life to get it, and to compound with it an other force of my own discovery that made it the greatest power on earth. Now why shouldn't I use it as I wish, even to conquer the world? So remember, if it is ever necessary for you to move that box, do not open it. It will mean death, disaster. You will remain here on guard. Jim out of his coma yet? I've given him a new antidote. Perkins is watching his reactions. Any change, Perkins? Not yet, Dr. Mallory. How long can he live in a state of suspended animation? That's something I'm not prepared to answer. We're dealing with a force that I don't completely understand. That doesn't mean... That... Not necessarily, Bob. Any luck tracing that car those two men used last night? No, no, not a bit. Uh, all identification has been removed. I think Dr. Zucker must have sold his formula before he died, or else it's been stolen by some foreign agent. I hope not. Can you imagine what a terrific weapon of aggression it would be? I certainly can. An enemy can move in without any opposition. The whole country could be wiped out. I wish we could find out how Zucker derived his formula. 
Say, we might be able to get a clue to the nature of Zorka's element with this neometer, which reacts to radioactivity. Have you tried it on Jim yet? Yes. Any reaction? Only a slight one, but it confirms my belief that the antidote must contain a part of the element itself. That young newspaper woman is here, Doctor. Again? I told her I was here. Do you mind if she comes in? If you insist. You handle that story very nicely without telling too much. Thanks. But the office thinks I'm holding out. They want more. Hey, Doctor, this needle's jumping all over the place. Just since Miss Drew came in? Yes. Take her over by the door. Take her out. Close the door. Bring her back. Say, what is this? I don't like wrestling. Bring her closer. It reacts to her definitely, or to something she's carrying. Empty your handbag. Oh, so it's just a holdup. One of Zorka's discs. Where'd you get it? In Dr. Zorka's house, under a withered plant. Oh, yes, I remember. I meant to take it. That's the thing it reacts to. And that's the clue for our antidote. Pulse is increasing, getting stronger with every beat. You were lucky last night that they only got one of you. It's unfortunate that G men are in on this. Well, they are in on it, Chief. We gotta act quick if we expect to beat them to Zarka's secret. Wherever it is. You think Monk's got it? I don't know. Monk looks and acts strange. Almost as though he's under a hypnotic spell. Hmm. Perhaps he is. Has it ever occurred to you that Zorka might be alive? No, what do you mean? Dr. Zorka has done some remarkable things. It's never seemed quite right to me that he should die in an ordinary accident. Find Monk. Bring him to me. Perhaps the sight of money will loosen his tongue. I know some other ways, too. Our leader is expecting us to get control of this great secret. With it, we can conquer the world. passed out because you had the disc that was planted on Anzorka. Who'd want to destroy her? I don't know. Can I take this along to Zorka's laboratory? It might lead to something. Certainly. I'll attempt an analysis of what is on that disc. It might lead directly to Zorka's secret. Good luck. Come Go on. Along. Mallory's antidote secured from the Zorka disc. I hope we can get enough other information so that we can crack this case wide open. Yeah, before it cracks us. Now, if I can just get this formula properly recorded. have to get here just as the sun is setting. Those long shadows get on your nerves, eh, Jim? I hope to tell you around this place. 
Well, let's see what this can find for us. Uh, watch out for spiders. Needle almost jumped off the dial here. Must be another disc around. Close. No, not so strong here. This way, Jim. Not so strong here. Now it's stronger. Hey! Who is this mug? The fellow I winged last night. He may be one of the spy rays. What's the matter? What was that? The helmet got so hot it burned my hand, and when it touched that box, it went up in smoke. Must be something pretty hot in there. Don't open that. I'll leave Dr. Mallory open. I guess you're right. Well, we'll take him to headquarters first. All right, come on. Try to open this thing. What's the matter, Bob? Can't you make it? No, not yet. Well, maybe it's just as well after what happened to that neometer. Hey, Bob. I wonder what's the matter with this car. The engine stopped running. Plenty of gas. Hey, Bob! Bob! Run it down great! Keep her rolling! Just before we all get blown to bits. Can't you make it? No, not yet. 
maybe it's just as well after what happened to the neometer. Hey, Bob. Well, what's the matter with this car? The engine stopped running. Plenty of gas. Hey, Bob! Run it down great. Keep it rolling. guy's license number? I sure did. 130,000 volts. That's what wrecked us when I pulled that gadget on the box. Boy, that was a close one. I better see if the box is still there. Man, I'm going after that guy we picked up in Zorka's lab. And this is no time for a manhunt. It's more important we get that mystery box to the federal lab for an analysis. Blow up the whole city? I guess you're right. We'll take it back to Mallory's house. We'll be safer there. The only survivors, the box is still here. guy get away. He's one of the spy rings. The police will catch him. He can't get far with that bullet. Then hey, what's going on here? You fellas trying to electrocute yourselves? Who's driving that car? Take it easy. Okay, Captain West. We have to get to Dr. Mallory's right away. Official business. I'll give you a lift. All right, thanks. We'll tell you all about it on the way. of my vengeance. <laughs> so you decided to come back, did you? The federal man broke in. They carried me off. They stole the meteor. You're lying. I left you on guard and you betrayed me. You have sold the source of my power to my enemies. No, I swear it. And why did you remove that box from the secret vault? I heard voices. I thought strangers were coming to steal it. I shall show you what happens to those who cross me. I'm 
tell me what happened. Come. Put up your sleeve. Put your arm to the tube in front of the ray. Not a thing. Painless surgery. This and a thousand greater powers are possible with the secret element. And now the source of it is gone. But they shall not keep it. No government shall possess my power. I know where Bob Best has taken my meteor. But I can't go with you. They know me now. If I'm taken, they'll throw me back into Alcatraz. You can make yourself invisible. The Phantom will continue to protect you. Thanks, officer. The newspaper nemesis. What's in the box? Lunch for Dr. Mallory. Maybe he'll swallow that, but not me. Listen, my editor's putting the pressure on me for a story. Is that one of the late Dr. Zorka's gadgets? Look, Miss Drew, the safety of this country depends on the contents of this box. There are spies in the city paid to see Zorka's secret. Here comes Brown now. A G-man just carried a box into Mallory's house. Okay, I'll call the chief and tell him he's at the airport. You get back and watch the house. Why don't you saw Pell Yurge for sensational headlines Will we tell you differently? Well, all right. On condition that I get the scoop when you're ready. Hello, Dr. Miller. Hello, Bob. Good, you found something. Something, it's dynamite. Come in. Oh, if you don't mind, Miss Drew, I would prefer that only Captain West and Lieutenant Daly come into the laboratory. Well, Miss Drew has made her peace with the government. Well, just the same, I'm afraid I'll have to exclude the press from this interview. Go on, young lady, take a walk. Two sets of prints on this box other than ours. Zorka probably handled it while he was alive, and the uh, others must have belonged to the fellow who got away. Jim, take these uh, down, will you? X-22-37. Wait. This is the source of Zorka's element. I'm certain of it. The meometer is reacting exactly as it did to the disc we found on Miss Drew. Wait here, Monk. I might be able to extract Zorka's elements from this material if I had time enough and the right equipment. It took Madame Cure 14 years to isolate radium. Zorka's equipment's probably still in his lab. Why don't you work there? Tell you what, Mallory, I'll take you to Zorka's myself. Personal escort service. What's that? Oh, either this place is haunted or I am. All right, Jim, you take Dr. Mallory to Zorka's. I'll follow along as soon as I talk to the office. Well, you better make your call from outside. His wires have been tapped. Come on, Doc. Right. Drive to the laboratory. Mallory is playing directly into my hands. Major Zarka.
bedroom. Boys just left from Zorka's house. They've got the box with them. Okay, we'll head for our airport. The chief has a plane ready for our getaway. Long distance? This is Captain West, DMI, calling the War Department, Washington, D.C. Reverse the charges. Very urgent. You know, I don't feel any too comfortable with that thing so close. Nothing can happen as long as the meteorite is not exposed. That car is still trailing us. Get off the road and out of sight when we round that curve ahead. Hitchhiker, Doctor. Can I go along with you? See a good scout. Go on, bait it. Look. That car is coming back. Whoever's in that car knows we've got the meteorite. All right, get in. Stay down. Getting fast harder, huh? Don't put the wise crack and there's trouble coming. One gunfire while we're carrying that box. Keep your hands where they are. Put the guy at the wheel. Who's in the box? All right, come on, get out, you. That's what we're after. Be careful. If you drop that, we'll be blown to bits. Don't take the lid off while I'm around, either. Put that in our car. Handle it carefully. All right, start driving. And don't forget we're behind you, so don't get funny. I can't. I've lost the keys. All right, wise guy. Pile out, all of you. We'll take you in our car. Come on, get moving. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
sending you on a tour journey. We need scientists of your caliber to handle Zorka's discovery. Warm up the motor. Why, you can't take off now with that fog rolling in. Fog or no fog, we're leaving. Put that box in the plane. No use hoping Bob will come now. If we get out of this, we'll have to do it ourselves. Careful. That stuff's worse than dynamite. Watch me and get ready to run. Look out, you girl, Tyler! Realize that you might have blown us to bits. But this thing's a fake. You blackheads. I sent you to get the source of Zorka's element. Where'd you get this? The girl gave it to us. Extremely clever, young lady. But we're after the source of Zorka's element and we intend to get it. Where's the original box? I'd like to know the answer to that one myself. All right, Smith. Go to the back road and make a thorough search of that car. Take Mallory with you. You open the doors. Take Mallory with you. 
and open the doors. Get in that place and keep quiet. Tim. Secret? Must be. I found it in Captain West's car. Take it to our laboratory. We don't dare to try to smuggle it out of the country for a while. Now, Ray, I want you to extract some of the power we believe to be in that box. It's highly dangerous. I can't promise. But you can try, and will. All right, I can take charge. Contact me there at headquarters. That's the rescue, Jim. What's in that box? Good. You know how to use them? It's a big idea. Well, I'll drop down lower and you do as I tell you. Get my car and come back after it. 
broke a mining gear? Well, you would have to remind me of that. Well, we got the land sometime. I hope those fellows have left the airport. is coming back. Perhaps my element is in it. Yeah. And maybe the mob does it. I shall use my divisualizer and vanish. You hide the car back there in the shadow end and keep watch. Ready for rough landing. Jim up, then we'll come back here and look the ship over. Suppose the spy's going to take it. They can't while we've got this. They got away with that box of Zerkin. Let's get Jim in here. Jim, we have things to do. That's nothing new. You both. on a panel I wanted to get. Now they've been wiped off. Well, maybe I brushed against them. No, I noticed them there before we left. I hoped that whoever had the box would bring it back here, but they didn't. I guess those foreign agents still have it, then. Yeah, it looks that way. We'll have to keep them from shipping it out of the country. Can you imagine what a hostile nation would do with a weapon that would put people into a state of suspended animation? I'd rather imagine it than say it. They could conquer the world. They don't give anything out to your paper about that element being missing. I don't want it to get out. There's only one chance to find it. They evidently took Mallory with them. I told him once that if he ever got into a jam to try to get us on a short wave. I'll camp on the set from now on. The spies have taken my element. Do you know where that office is? Yeah. In the city. I know the building. Take me there. Catch you sleeping on the job again. Yes, but boy. Where have I... you brought me? Never mind that. All we want you to do is tell us how to use a power we know is in there. It would be fatal to anyone who opened that box and exposed its contents to the air. Quit stalling. I'm not asking you to do it. Al here doesn't mind what happens to him. He'll open it. Sure, I can open anything. But even if he succeeds in opening it, what can I do? Extract some of the power. That'll take some very special apparatus. I think you'll find everything you need here, Mallory. Get busy. 
จะไม่มาง่ายเลย
according to this neometer, we are close to my element. How'd you get out? Somebody left the door open and stole the meteorite at the same time. Did you see anybody? No, but a car just left. Yeah, I saw it. The neometer reacted to it. That's where it's gone, all right. Any transportation around here? I saw a car in a shed beside the building. Okay, let's go. Is that Captain West in the car that we left at our hideout? Yeah, and he's coming from the direction of the hideout. Following. Maybe he's got Sarka's gadget. Phone your office and tell Daly to bring the men.
get out. Somebody left the door open and stole the meteorite at the same time. Did you see anybody? No, but a car just left. Yeah, I saw it. The neometer reacted to it. That's where it's gone, all right. Any transportation around here? I saw a car in a shed beside the building. Okay, let's go. Isn't that Captain West in the car that we left at our hideout? Yeah, and he's coming from the direction of the hideout. Following. Maybe he's got Sarka's gadget. Phone your office and tell Daly to bring the men. with him, hadn't we better get it? He didn't. If he had that thing in the car, he'd have blown the train clear off the tracks. We'll look the wreck over anyway and make sure that Captain West is really dead. What's that coming? It's a G-man. They're out of here. I'll pull up out of sight. when the train struck. Any of you men see this happen? He turns straight across the track. Where is he? Was he killed? We don't know. We just got here. He isn't in that car. Bob? Let me take a look at him. What are you trying to do, young man? Break your fool neck? Take it easy. This is Captain West of military intelligence. That's Mallory with him. It's my own fault. Those crooks are right on my tail. I thought I could get away by putting the train between them. Oh, that's fine, sir. If you'll sign your name there. I'll send in my report. That'll clear you and your crew of any blame. Thank you, sir. I sure appreciate it. Back to the hideout and find out how Mallory escaped. Well, what's next, Bob? To find Zorka's meteorite. Come back to my place and let me look you over before you make any plans. Clean 
newspaper woman is coming. Shall I grab her? No. Let her come in. Get out of sight, both of you. Once, you're on a spot. We got away with Dr. Zucker's mystery box. Where is it now? <laughs> so you lost it again. I figured you'd bungle the job. Up fast or somebody's going to get hurt. All right. I've been after that box of Zucker's from the moment he was found dead. I'd have had it and got a price for it by now if you'd left me alone. Wait a minute. How do you figure in on this thing? I thought you were supposed to be a reporter. Of course I'm a reporter. How else do you think I fastened myself to Captain West? I have everything all set, and you move in and upset the apple cart. Sit down. Maybe we'd better talk this thing over. There's no mistake about it. I was alone in that laboratory with the guard. He collapsed, and while I was trying to see what had happened to him, the meteorite disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? It was gone. And the door, which had been locked on the outside, was open. I guess I'd better run over and look that place over. I'll see you at Zucker's later. Have you any idea how the meteorite was removed, Doctor? None that'll hold water. It was physically impossible for anyone to enter that room without my seeing him. Beg your pardon, sir. But you know Dr. Zilka was a very evil man. So it might persist even after the death of the body and return to continue its, uh, shall we say, uh, perfidious work. Ghosts don't carry heavy boxes around, Perkins. Say, suppose Zilka isn't dead. But if he were alive, he would be seen and... Not necessarily. One thing Zorka hoped to do was to perfect what he called a, a visualizer. Oh, that's impossible. In the scientific world, nothing is impossible. Just as there are sound waves pitched too high or too low for the human ear, so there are light waves too intense for the human eye that might be directed to envelop a human body and make it invisible. I've got it, Mom. I took it right from under their noses. The fools. No one can stand in my way. Neither Mallory's men nor Rankin's spies. Now that you have it again, we'd both better get out of here. The G-men are guarding the place. If they find this secret room... If they do, I have means of dealing with them. Here. This little device contains an invisible gas. Did you get the plan they asked you for? Yes, sir. This is the first step. It doesn't seem to be doing anything to the plant. And the second step is my Z-ray. Any living thing impregnated with this invisible gas dies on the Z-ray. You mean that human beings? Oh, a man first would go into deep coma. Then, 
There was top one or two men, but more would keep coming. You seem to forget our iron man. Suppose you were my enemy, monk. What would you do now? Think my enemies will seek me here? Well, <laughs> let them come. I'll put the proposition up to the chief. If he wants to throw in with you, we'll let you know. I'm not asking for help. I'm just trying to show you how stupid you've been. Next time I do business with your chief or not at all, we're all after the same thing. I can show him how to get it. And where does he live? You'd like to know, wouldn't you? The chief wants to talk to you. He knows where to find you. We're leaving now. If you try to follow us... Best leg man, uh, girl on the staff. Who's in there? Nobody. I was just... Get back inside. I want to talk to you. What is this, a pinch? Stand where you are. What's in there? I don't know. Better look. Story. Even Captain West won't tell me what's going on, so I decided to work alone. Alone, huh? What about those three masked men that just ran out of here? So you saw them, too. That's the same outfit that held us up on the road the other day. I trailed them in here. Now, now save it for Captain West. He likes fairy stories. I don't have time to listen. Go on, young lady. Now, Perkins. No, that won't do it. I'll have to try something else. What do you hope to accomplish? Some sort of ray that will counteract or neutralize a divisualizer. If Zork is alive and has such a device, I'll find something that will make it useless. is hidden there. This neometer is sure to locate it. I think there's some hidden room in this place we haven't discovered. I'm going to make another search of it right now. Say, if uh, Jim comes back to the office, tell him to meet you there, will you, Doctor? No. Yeah. to receive him. We'd better get out of here, Doctor. You can't keep this place hidden forever. Sooner or later, they'll move in on us. Why? All right. Well, one of these days, we'll be trapped here. And we're going to inspect the house. When Lieutenant Daly arrives, send him in. Keep everyone else out. Yes, sir. 
Someone's coming, Doctor. West inside the house. All right, keep this woman here. Say, wait a minute. I've got to get in there. I've got to write Keep her here. here if you have to tie her. will be disposed of. On 
until I master of the universe. Someone else is coming. We must not find our robot. gas and the Z-ray will take care of him and the others. Get them. Zucker Spires bit him. He'd be in a criminal state if that were so. If you kill them, the police will trace them here. You can escape with your shadow belt, but I'll be done for. They'll send me back to Alcatraz. That's where you belong. Condense the loose. Some more of your carelessness. Bob, Bob, what was it? What happened? Iron Man. He attacked me. There's no one here but us, Lieutenant Daly. Captain West must have dreamed that Iron Man. He knew what he was talking about, all right. I am free, Dr. Zucker. I am stronger than you now. Stronger than the police. You'll never make a slave out of me again. <laughs> Surprised me a bit if Dr. Zorka did have some kind of mechanical man hidden here. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's get him over to Dr. Mallory's right away. You traitor. You didn't know that you too had been sprayed with my invisible gas. Get up on your feet. belong to me. You can never escape me. No. Get 
Get him to Mallory's. I'll follow in my car. See what your treachery has cost me. They'll come back. They know what you have here. They'll ransack the place and they'll find me. They will not find you nor my meteorite. It's changing headquarters today. Going prepare for my insulation materials. Yeah, it's not suspended animation, only a slight concussion. He'll be all right in a little while. And I can go on to headquarters. You fellas stay with Bob. You'll hear from me later. He's reviving. We shall rent an office near the Department of Military Intelligence. I shall operate as Dr. Zane. I'm convinced that Dr. Zork is still alive, operating from some hidden part of his house. The robot was manipulated by someone. I don't remember Dr. Zork ever referring to a robot during the time we were associated. But there were many things he kept secret from me. Well, that's for us to find out. Where's Jim? He went back to headquarters. Well, I'll join him, then we'll head for the Zorka house. What that place needs is a good spring cleaning. Take it easy, Bob. Oh, I'm all right. Let's go. I found just the kind of office you want. Has it a good boy to protect my meteorite? Yeah, and it's on the same floor of the International School of Languages. Oh, the language school. The spies headquarters, huh? Yeah. <laughs> good. I can keep an eye on them also. We will move in at once. We must insulate our new vault so that my meteorite shall be just as safe here as it was in my secret laboratory. Come. Perfect insulation. Enough to protect my most powerful devices. Gadgets in Dr. Mallory's bag. The report just came in from the chemist. This, he says, is a neometer. An instrument that reacts in the presence of magnetized or radiated substances. Say, that's just a thing we need to locate Dr. Zorka's mysterious box. Exactly. Now, you take this back to Zorka's, and if his box is anywhere in the neighborhood, you should know it. Hold on a minute. This needle is going a mile a minute. Going to the door. Monks in there. We better mask before we go in. Monk? You must have been entirely moved by morning. Monk, who do you want? It ain't Monk. Whoever it is, he's got the stuff we're after. Come on, I'll spill it. Where's that box? I don't know what you're talking about. That's a pretty good disguise, Monk. But you're going to tell us where that box is hidden. I, I don't know. You're lying. Look at his neometer. Monk! Oh! Where are you? This is the stuff we want, all right. Now, you get going. 
I'll lock this darn monk in the vault till we can get back. Thanks, Jean. You were swell. See you later. Oh, but I'm not leaving. I'm going to have to ask you to leave us right here. From now on, things start to move fast and dangerously. Well, that suits me. My editor hired me because I move fast, and I'm not easily scared. Look, if you really want to help, suppose you stay down here and keep your eyes open. Somebody may have followed us. Okay, Captain. Take this downstairs and wait for me. We've got to get it to the chief before he sails. I'll radio him and be right with you. Oh, boy, that makes like a snappy. Chief wants to sail in 15 minutes. And Pier 15 is a long way from here. Well, the sooner I get rid of the dynamite in this bag, the better I'll feel. Come on, we might as well wait in the car. Hopping all over the place. Must be something around here that's attracting it. Maybe it's those neon lights across the street. Two men just left that building. They said something about having dynamite in a bag and going to Pier 15. So what? I hope they throw all the dynamite off the pier. Those fellas look familiar. All right. I think he's got something there, Gene. Thanks. I'm going with you. Now, now, wait a minute. You get back to your typewriter, Girl Scout. You've done your good deed for today. Look, if you really want to help out, go up to my office and tell them to warn the Harbor Police about Pier 15. Let me out! that can withstand its power. Get up. Who were those men? They sounded like spies. But their faces were strange. Masks. How did they find us? They had the neometer with them. They couldn't have. Unless you gave it to them. Well, they must have stolen it from Mallory. Mm. In any event, we can't remain here. Start packing. All right, let's hear your story. Government business, officer. I'm Captain West, DMI. This is Lieutenant Daly. Hello. It's imperative that we get the docks at once. All right, Captain. Half an hour since Franklin reviewed. It's a heavy fog ashore, too, sir. Maybe they got tangled up in traffic. You go to the wireless room. Tell Drake to get a message through to his hideout. Tell him we've got the Zorka stuff. Yes, sir. I'll park the car and meet you at the motorboat. Hey, just a minute. Can't go out on the pier tonight. Police orders. Police orders, huh? 
Yeah. Well, you're talking to the police now. Oh, yeah? Sure. He's an officer of the DMI. Show him your credentials, Captain. said it just slugged me. But where'd they go? That way, I heard them start the boat. What boat? Well, the tender for the White Rose. She's anchored out there. immediately. Smith is still ashore. He had to park the car. We can't wait. Luck's with us. If this fog holds up, we'll be well out to sea by morning. It's a meteorite to the yacht. Gets to their prints, it'll mean war. This fog getting thicker, we couldn't fire on them even if we did see them. You take a Coast Guard cutter. I'll get a plane at the naval base and drop a flare to guide you. You can't take a plane up in this fog. I've got to. We can't let them get away with Zorka's discovery. Chance in the spot, Captain West. Can't be helped. Any players aboard? Plenty.
Coast Guard. We can't get away with that box now. We'd never be able to get out of the harbor. What are you going to do? Take it to the river warehouse until I can figure out a plan to smuggle it out of the country. Brown, get that suitcase out of the boat. Get the small boat ready. Yes, sir. Now, here's what I want you to say if anybody comes aboard asking questions. Bob! And then they started shooting my plane full of holes. Why? I've no idea. So I did hear them say something about an attack. Find out anything, Jim? No, whoever was here made a clean getaway. Put it in the Coast Guard dock. Yes, sir. Have one of the boys check on him tomorrow. Right. You better hurry to Mallory's and have him construct another neometer so we can find that box. If the foreign agents smuggle it out of this country, it might mean war. I'd call up the army and round up these spies. Create a fine international incident. Oh, these things have to be done undercover. That's just the trouble. You don't give me anything worth writing a story about. Had a good one about that Navy plane that crashed last night. Mm-hmm. And my editor bowled me out because I couldn't tell him who it was or what they were trying to do. Why not let her break the story about our belief that Zorka is still alive? Can't see what good that would do. Anyway, we're not sure of it ourselves. The only explanation for the things that have been happening that's right, Bob. Remember the mechanical iron man and how things are always being taken by something invisible. Well, I'm still not sure. Anyway, I've got Max stationed at Zorka's house for any clue that Zorka is still alive. Are you sure there was another man in that office where you got that box? Certainly, I saw him. If you remember, I suspected some time ago that Zorka might not be dead. And things have happened since to verify that suspicion. The office was taken under the name of Zane. Note the Z, as in Zorka. Also the fact that it must be someone very familiar with his work. You can easily find out. The two of them are still locked up in the vault there. If it is Zorka, we can send both him and his secret to our country. It will save us endless time in learning how to use whatever it is he has invented. I'll bring them both down here. You can make that fellow monk talk anyway. Did you put the box in the river warehouse? Yes. Harlan's going to analyze its contents. If he ever gets up nerve enough to open it. Make me one of those belts, Dr. Soccer, so I can make myself invisible, too. If you don't, the cops will get me sure and I'll spend the rest of my life in jail. There's no time for that. Besides, I need someone to draw a suspicion from myself. What we do? We can't go back to our office in that building now they know it's there. You forget I can go back on scene. Take the car and hide it in our secret garage and wait for me in the laboratory. How are you going to get there? Never mind that. The important thing is to find out what they have done with my meteorite.
Guess the chief had the right hunch. What's that? Sark is still alive. Whoever worked his way out of that vault had plenty on the vault. Well, he'll never find that box of his where we've got it hidden in the warehouse. If it was Zarka, he'd head back to his laboratory. We'll look that place over. Better go in separate cars. Take the south road. We'll meet at Zorka. Take that, will you, Bob? Yeah? Yeah. All right, Mac, we'll be right out. Mac says the car just arrived at Zorka's house. He thinks some of the foreign agents were in it. Say, uh, Gene comes back, keep her here. run into in there. Another car will have come since I phoned you. We'll close in and see what's going on. What puzzles me is that they've got the box. What do they want here? Uh, they probably have the same hunch we have. That Zorka's still alive. You stay here, Mac. Keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. Now we will learn what they have done with my precious element. to the pier. She wants to ship them both out of the country as soon as possible. What do you mean, handy to the pier? It's a half mile from the waterfront. Oh, you're thinking about the other joint. I mean the old warehouse across from the green stop here. Pipe down, both of you. We have tricked them into revealing the hiding place of our meteorite. Get in your car, Mac, and watch them. They leave trail. Yes, sir. I must go to that warehouse. Break it! Come on, 
the other boys in there. Oh, they're done for. we got to get to the river warehouse. Ark has heard about it short. He's on his way there now. over there. Let's find out.
of all his power. Get him into the other car. Larry, the shooting might bring someone here to investigate. Tell me, Crabs, those men have taken my property. 
I don't know why. All right. The chief has a shipload of ammunition and a schooner off Valdez Landing. Come on, go to my car. to do with me? Nothing serious. You will be put quietly to sleep until I need you again. I will recover it within a few hours. And how? By dragging me out in the daylight. Why, they can pick me up and throw me back in the pen. In spite of what you've done to change my appearance. I'm sick of it. Worse can happen to you than anything the law can do. You want to prove this? No. No. No, I'm just nervous, that's all. You know you can count on me. What do you want done? We're going to locate a ship off where there's landing. We need a pair of binoculars in addition to our usual equipment. idea of his prowling around that Georgia place alone. You better take it easy, little daily. That was a pretty hard crack you got. Oh, that's nothing. Hello. Oh, you're back. Hello. Any really luck? No. Been all over Zorka's place with the neometer. No reaction. And you can take my word for it. The box isn't there. That little gadget was spotted a mile away. That leaves us without any cue as to where it's gone. And if those foreign agents get Zorka's secret out of the country... We're apt to find ourselves at war within a few weeks. Dr. Mallory speaking. Yes, just a minute. It's Miss Drew says she's on a hot trail. Thanks. Hello, Gene. Yeah, where are they now? They took a boat to a schooner at anchor off Valdez Landing. Yes, I made inquiries. The name of the schooner is Lottie Carson, but nobody seems to know who owns her around here. That's a good job, Gene. Now listen. I'll send Jim Daly and some men down to join you. Now, you stay near that dock and don't get in any trouble. 
Not bad for a nose reporter, eh? All right, Captain, I'll be looking for Jim. Goodbye. Jim found the member of the box and trailed him to the waterfront. Hmm. I guess I'll have to apologize for some of the things I said to her. Where is it now? On board the Scooter Lottie Carson, anchored off the lower harbor. On a ship. That means you'll have to get help from the harbor police. No, I've got a better idea than that. Jim, you take Mac and Parker. Drive to Valdez Landing. You'll meet Jim there.
We've got to get aboard that schooner before anyone comes back with help. We can't. Some of Rankin's crowd are still on the ship.
Craft your mortar. I will explain what you have to do. before Captain West gets the Coast Guard after us. I'll lower a boat. Look. It's Mark, Zorka's assistant. What's he want? We'll soon find out. Tell him to come aboard. Watch out for tricks. Come aboard, Mount. We'll throw you a line. Now what? Do as he says. But let me get up the ladder first. Who's he talking to? Himself, I guess. He's a kind of a nut, like Zorka. No one there to make it. You're drunk. What are you doing here, Monk? I came to make a deal. Dr. Zorka... Never mind Dr. Zorka now. How'd you know about this ship? How'd you know that we were here? I didn't. But I knew the meteorite was here. This little instrument will guide me to wherever it's hidden. Meteorite. So that's the source of Zorka's power. Yeah. But the meteorite is more dangerous than useful to you without my help. Your help? What about Zorka? Dr. Zorka's dead. That's a lie, Monk. Zorka is masquerading as Dr. Zane. We caught him with you and locked you both in his own vault. You escaped. That's right. We did escape. But Zorka only lived a few hours afterward. Take this man forward. Oh, wait a minute. Can you prove that Zorka's dead? If you'll come to his house with me, I'll not only prove he's dead, but I'll let you into the secrets of his laboratory. And what do you expect to get out of this? Protection first. Captain West is after me, too. I also want a 50-50 split on the price Dr. Zorka's element brings you. You put a high price on yourselves. We'll talk terms after you make good your bluff about Zorka's death. All right, bring the meteorite. We'll go ashore on Monk's boat. Captain West Perkins? No, sir. No one has called. I think I'll have another look at Zorka's laboratory. I wouldn't go there alone, sir. That house is dangerous. If Captain West fails to recover the meteorite, I've got to gather every scrap of information I can about how to combat it. But the danger! The country's in danger. If Captain West calls, tell him where I've gone. Brown and the others. They'll be here any minute now. What's the idea of bringing the mob here? I'm not taking any chances, Monk. At the first sign of trickery, Brown and the boys will know what to do. I'm not a fool. I need your organization as much as you need me. The guards are gone. They're with West at the harbor. Taking the box inside? Yes, since we can't use the ship, we'll take it to our mountain hideout by the night train from Denver. Lead the way, and don't make any mistakes.
All right, I can put the case down and keep him uncovered. Yeah, what is this? I'm going to show you're you. You're going to do as you're told if you expect to get out of here alive. I don't believe the doctor's dead. I believe he's hidden somewhere in this house. Now listen, men. I want this place searched. Tap every wall for secret panels and be prepared for trouble at any minute. Doc is probably hidden here, perhaps watching us and listening to what we're saying. Yeah, he might be right in this room, invisible. Remember the shadow Brown saw on the ship of the man who wasn't there? Oh, forget that. Come on, search the place. No, they tricked us. Dr. Mallory's office. Yes, sir, he just came in. For you, Captain. Oh, thanks. Hello. Yes, a mob of them. They, uh... They went into Zorka's place not more than five minutes ago. Yes, I'll take care of that, Dr. Mallory. I'll, uh... I'll have Dale and his men pick you up. All right, goodbye. Dale and his men will be right here. Will you have him pick up Dr. Mallory at Hill and Garland Road and come right to Zorkas? What's happened, Bob? Uh, nothing. You better stay here. You've been in enough trouble today. Follow. Step on a brown 
miss the train. Heading into the station at Chanberg. I'm sorry. It is necessary to stop the train on this siding. Ah, that's impossible. The train can't be stopped. Very well. Then I must throw the switch myself. Of who? Don't throw that switch. It's the derail. You show me the right one, my friend. Be quick about it. All right. I'll throw it. Up, where are the two of the suitcase? Are they up front? Well, if they are, you won't find them because you're not going any further.
Did you find it? No. Fellow I was fighting was just before the wreck was one of the spy wrecks. He was telling the truth. If that box had been a blow, we'd have all been blown to bits. Mm-hmm. Feel any better now? No. Mm. Oh, a horrible experience. Think what a swell story that'll make for your paper. Still strong enough to lend a hand with the first aid? give this place a real once over. Zorka's mystery box out of the country. 
I'll contact our home base by radio as soon as we reach the office. before they finish us. No. To do it now, it would mean to destroy my meteorites. That I have to get back first. I'll go with you. No. You stay here. This is work for the Phantom alone. Right, I've got it. We'll be on our way in a minute. Be sure and keep Zucker's lab covered. Yeah, goodbye. Headquarters reports that the Phantom Radio is broadcasting this mysterious code again. The federal truck's trying to locate it. If we make it snappy, we can find the truck in the vicinity of State and Main Street. You said I could be in on the finish. Sure, I'm hoping this will be it. Do you stand by here, Doctor, in case we need you? Surely, and good luck, Bob. Thanks, I could use a little good luck. Point four. 
Harbor. Two one zero. Urgent. Away, heading in this direction. Well, they can't decide from this code I'm using. Maybe not, but they can't trace from where it's coming from. I must finish. Our only chance of getting out of the country is by submarine. The prince has got a supply one. Okay, make it snappy. Continue. Four, three, Pacific. West. The Phantom radio is in this block somewhere, Captain. The estimates prove that. Phone for more men. Have them surround the block. We'll search every building in this neighborhood if necessary. Yes. We'll cover as much as we can until help arrive. Jim, you take that speech. Come on, Jim. Two, one, zero. Urgent. Two of those spies now. We have to get after them. The bank's got the car. Well, one of the other boys just caught here. His car's around the corner. I'll take it. You stay here and try to find the radio location. All right. You better stay here and look out and see if anybody. Let me drive in case you have to do any shooting. All right, Fluster. Don't want to be in on the finish, eh? Even if it is your own. Across the road? 
Yes, it may be a trick to stop and keep going. Swell job of driving, Chief. All I could do, I had to drive. We can still catch those birds. Let's go. Get out your mask. your hand on this. Been after you for a long time. Come on. Get up. He thinks he's a mass marvel, too. Nice work, Gene. All right, Jarvis. What'd you do with Zarka's meteorite? We haven't got it. Zarka, talk Quiet, to you. What am I offered if I talk? Ten years or more in a federal prison, but you don't have to talk. Your partner here told me all I want to know. Get in the car. You drive, Chief.
got to help to get away from here. We won't wait for Sarka. He's probably blunders. He's made a slave of me. I'm just another robot like you that he controls with his mind and fingers. When he's through with me, he'll throw me to the police. But I'm not through with you just yet. But I... I Silence. Can... I know what you meant. But now we have work to do. In a short time, Captain West and the law will be here for us. You must extract some elements from the meteorite. Prepare the insulating gas. Hurry up. Yes, Jim. Throw a ring of men around Zarka's place. Better have them equipped with gas masks. Remember, you're dealing with an invisible port. All right, I'll see you there. See? You've been slow about holding that canoe. Now you can go to town. Warn everybody. You mean I can tell the whole story? That's right. Shoot the word. Where? Well, I'm from. This time, I think I've got it, Bob. You mean you can make Zorka visible in spite of his invisibility? That's exactly what I mean. Watch. That's the way Zorka makes himself invisible. Now we will dissolve the aura of invisibility and disclose what it hides. Perkins, the ray gun. May I take this with me? Of course. Now we can deal with Dr. Zorka. Yet, Lieutenant. Sergeant, spread your men along this side. Corporal Peters' men will take care of the other side. Shooting. I'll be with a you anyhow. inside with masks. All right, I'll follow them. Take your mask, soldier. Please stay outside.
out there. They'll get me. I take care of them with the Z ray. The airport. Had to be gotten a documentary at once.
ships and planes. Rocket plane eight miles off Devil's Point, heading for the Navy anchorage. Thank you. 